That's really mean. That's, that's huge, that's actually, huge. That's, right? That's because now this is scalable. Yeah. It's industry compatible. So if Willow just gets this design, it's going to be a thousand times better. And Willow already is like making headlines. Mm -hmm. So imagine what it can do with this, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. A millisecond transmon qubit breakthrough out of Princeton. This was in Nature. There's different kinds of qubits. I, one that we're talking about is that quantum circuit, a tiny little circuit that had something called um, a Josephson junction. Yes. And then you have on the order of billions of electrons that behave like a single quantum unit that are tunneling from one to the other, from one to the other, right? And IBM and Google now use something called the transmon design, which is a charge qubit. It's basically their design, but they've attached a large capacitor on, on the side. Okay. And they've made it insensitive to charge noise. But this is, this is basically the qubit that they're using to make the um, the quantum computers that they talk about. So currently there's not a lot of quantum computers that are being built. There's very few amount of entities that are doing no. so. The ones that are, like you're saying with, with IBM, and they're using this particular structure uh, for the in order to be able to like do the, the process that we're talking about, how, which has existed prior to the paper. Yes, exactly. Like, like there, there's a platform that everyone's using saying, this is kind of the way we got to go, everybody. This is the current state of the art. Yeah. And that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But those guys had this problem of decoherence time. This new paper okay. that's come out um, in Nature. Yes. Millisecond time skills. They're, they're, getting, they're getting their stuff all the way to milliseconds. Okay. And this is a victory against the materials that we're using to actually create that transmon qubit. And this millisecond time scale is about three times the time scale that was there before the record. Got it. And it's 15 times is the industry standard. Okay, got it. Okay? Yes. It's very long. It, it is an order of magnitude. Order of magnitude. Um, better improvement uh, upscale. Got it. Okay. The, other, the other huge thing about this is this chip, it's just an upgrade on the industry dominant transmon architecture. Okay. Which is the same thing that IBM and Google have been using in their current architecture. Right. Right. The recent paper that came out of the Willow yes. quantum chip in yes. Google. Yes. It's using the same architecture. Okay. So the thing is, this is something like a, I can take that out. Yeah. yeah. And I can put this thing in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. All of the outside of the chip itself, there's all of the other, the cooling system, like all yeah. of the other infrastructure. Yeah. The way I talk to the to chip. All of that. Yeah. They can hot swap the chip. Exactly. It's not a new, it's not a totally new chip design that requires a refactoring of the rest of the infrastructure. Exactly.